Cheddar, home of cheese. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, they're famous for cheese. Like, that's, like, quite a feat. Like, if you don't appreciate that at the start of every video that we film here, then it would be a dishonour to the town. Okay. Uh, I Do suppose... you not agree? Yeah, I suppose you're right. We're here for the charity shops. We're here for the bargains. We're here for the good stuff. Cheese plates. Um, there's free charity shops here. We've been here before. If you're new to the channel, we're the luxury pickers. And we go around the UK, saucing... Saucing? Saucing things to resale. Um, and this is Cheddar. And it has free charity shops, including one that makes money for hedgehogs. And uh, these are Adidas Super Courts. Um, they retail for around about 90 to 100, depending where you buy them from. We've sold a couple of pair of these. Actually, I think we've got a pair at the moment, size maybe three. These are slightly bigger and they were cheap. Um, I'd, I'd sell these for around about 35 to 40 quid. I like selling trainers at the moment. Um, not because it's interesting to me, but because it's easy. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. It, uh, I think the thing is, in one, in one aspect, it's hard because you're trying to buy something which only a certain, uh, certain amount of people can buy for, down to size in. Yeah, yeah. But then I suppose the same as could be such, said for a dress or, or, but they're or in such trousers. they're demand constantly. Yeah. Everyone wears trainers. Every style, Apart I agree. Apart from me, probably. Everyone you, in the world But does. you wear trainers and you own trainers, so you've bought them either way, whether you wear them or not. Do do I? Yeah, but they're from they're from higher end brands. So but you still buy trainers. Yeah, I'm but saying, I mean, you act like, like you're part of the trainer community. Yeah, fair Adidas enough. Or... Fair... <laughs> Adidas. That was a new but old looking uh, guest t shirt. I appreciate guests. We got some great bread and butter in this shop, and this shop keeps keeps coming at us with the bread and butter. Last time we were here, we just were walking around racking it up. We were indeed. I picked up basically anything I for for was a quick turnover if that makes yeah, sense yep even though some of the pieces i picked up in this particular store were quite what i call simple like a bread and not bread and butter what's the word um um just like t-shirts and from so, good brands stuff but, stuff which which goes well constantly and maybe it doesn't make a hundred pound per item or anything but it, yeah 30s 40s every single time and you're talking a few pound to buy that's what you mean and then that stuff obviously goes towards funding our a luxury addiction, which then turns over the big boy profits. Indeedy. Talk to me about these, uh, well, when we see them in a minute, they're a pack, double Pac-Man oh. logo, as I like to call them. It took us ages. We found we found a pair of, we found a jacket from this brand recently, and it took us ages to work out what the brand is, but someone asked in the community on Instagram, Big Up the Instagram fan, um, had found them before, and they're from a brand called Community Clothing. Yep. And the logo is basically taken from old uh, workwear, military workwear. That's what, if you, if you kind of Google that kind of look, it looks yeah. like two Pac-Man to me. But it sounds really well, and they make really like high-end um workwear. wearable workwear pieces so thick these canvas that kind of thing oversized tapered pleated trousers they should do about 40 to 50 um and i found They're a bundle heavy too. of cos so we got the uh, dark green breton stripe four pounds we've got a hush but that was unwashed this, it was pristine when you say unwashed that sounds disgusting what you mean is it was clean never been faded black like fresh black five pound i think it's four pound i think we paid between four and five pound for all these items i showed this because we were talking about kid core the other day i just thought yeah. it was cool because it was a vintage kid's jacket um uh, this is a cos 100% silk blouse, great for workwear. I found a plain grey one for £4.50 or something about that. And then, obviously, an orange stripe as well. They're all really great, 25 to 30s. This and is lovely, though. Talk to me about this. That's cos, too, but it's a high neck, uh, white high neck. I actually like the zip back as well. It's kind of like... I have a I have a grey top like that, but like I, I, I'm I in, I'm into those kind of higher necks. I, I like but them. But they're all due between 25 and 30 quickly. I've What's been this? selling cos out the door. This is Villaggio. Villaggio, I'm saying that right. Wrong, something you're talking about like Bellagio, the Bellagio in Villagio. Vegas. Um, it's a wool blend dress, but it's got the heavy embroidered front, um, uh, boho style, like paisley pieces. Yeah, yeah. Um, should do about 80 to 100 on that, paid seven pounds. Going back to briefly what you said about cars as well, quite interesting. Everything we have in cars comes in, goes out, comes so in, fast. goes out at the moment. It's just flying out. Um, this is, um, I tell you what, this is right now. 
this is fiesta wear so i've been desperate to find fiesta wear. i found some in sherborne in a previous video uh, but it was priced up accordingly it was a massive collection actually um this is just a cup and a saucer um both of them are stamped they're in that sort of orangey color um but i the only information i know about this is from my friend over in america crazy lamp lady who buys and sells it quite regularly shout um, out crazy lamp lady what a vibe big up um and it should do i think it's big up. about 30 to 35 it sells really well at etsy and if anyone doesn't know um i'm just preparing myself mentally to delve into the etsy community wow. um for anyone who doesn't know because we shout about it all the ruddy time is that we use Ziptail and we're big 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 supporters of Ziptail, uh which is a cross-listing application uh we basically list on ebay upload all our listings into Ziptail, and then Ziptail shoots them off to depop and vintage at the moment but i'm very keen to add etsy to my repertoire i think i think like the extra um platforms for us which you've kind of they've added to like you just said it for our repertoire for no real li little to no to extra work yeah um, the cost of the you know what it costs for zip sale is worth it ten times over. We sell so much on vintage. We sell so much on Depop. Like you said, uh, I think we've done a lot on um, luxury, the luxury side actually on vintage recently. Yes, and for anyone who wants a free month and to try it out, we have done a video on it previously. So if you type zip sale into the search, it should come up. Um, but uh, we have a free month code down below. You just type in luxury. This is a banging uh, N H N H L N F L um, National Football League, folks. Seahawks. Uh, it's not the Seahawks. Oh, because I think it's the Eagles. Either way, it's a vintage piece. It's very, very nice. It was £20, which is worth £20 all day long if it's for yourself. The problem is um, the Depoppers among us, no, not among us at all, but the Depop fam, the generation, um, those peeps over there have dropped the price in good, solid vintage sportswear like a lead balloon it's just bad guys bad I mean, times i, think we're gonna do I love video, these pieces though it's sad i think we're gonna do a video about depop because a lot of people ask us opinion on depop we mentioned we had a return not return a yeah a, a, a dispute a dispute that we swiftly solved but i understand that well, everyone loves the beef yeah depop has weird systems and i don't think um <laughs> it's hard to work them out but you know what it has like next to no systems basically yeah, if, 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 if you can yeah it is and we're going to i think in more depth maybe I on a video we're do a video because a lot of people ask us about depop and one of the biggest questions we get is is depop dead and from our perspective um no no, but I, I want to discuss it in detail because anyone who doesn't know, in the early, I think just before lockdown, off the top of my head, the year before lockdown, we actually got banned from eBay, uh, which is a long story in itself. But during that time, we weren't using Been multiple... There, done that. We weren't using multiple platforms. So we put all our listings over... We already had listings on Depop, but we really concentrated, pushed yeah. um, vintage and um, that kind of thing on Depop. And Depop paid our bills for consistently about two months yeah um, which is a well, huge statement in between, to make in between getting yeah, ebay re reignited if you will yeah and so we've seen we've had it from both of perspectives of being selling predominantly like uh what i would call uh vintage streetwear so t-shirts uh single stitch t-shirts that kind of like that kind of, i'm not that kind of thing, vintage really. vibe yeah yeah of course but now uh we predominantly we still do that but we predominantly sell luxury and um, i would say depot for us at the moment rivals vestiaire and i think that warrants a video in itself yeah but in luxury explain that what you say when you say that now what we put on there um from your at least your 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 situation yeah. is purely luxury so when you say rival vestiaire you mean it rivals vestiaire with regards luxury not just kind of vintage shirts and regards no, the money you make yeah, yeah yeah i've sold this week i've sold vintage gucci glasses um 150 i've sold the ones i picked up previously um i've sold top I sold dresses. I'm honestly. It does so well. Yeah. And I think a lot shoes. of people, once again, like it's easy. If you listen, if you only got Adidas and Nike for sale on, on Depop, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you can't expect to make, you know, 50, 100, 300 pound sales because th those items, you got to sell 10 or 20 of those items to make that money. Yeah. It's never going to pay. But once again, especially in a sea of the like, same kind of stuff, this isn't a zip sale video, but I like to big up zip sale because um, they opened I, their eyes to a lot, didn't they? I did manually cross this to Depop, I did, um, but I wasn't putting everything over there because, quite frankly, it took too long. It took too long, yeah. But now I put every single luxury item that gets put through eBay goes over to Depop for a via zip sale, and honestly. 
I see. Um, I see. Actually, funny enough, I see George Ross post a lot about how he well he does on Depop, Depop because he uses Zip Cell to cross this. Of course. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then I was like, actually, I do really well on Depop. I know. Anyway, we'll do a whole video on it. We'll do a whole video on it. I also want to say that um, specifically with the cross listing. Um, this is a designal weight. This is a designal cardigan, waterfall front, very oversized, um, just the right amount of boh bohemian um, to win wildness. What about this though? I love um, this. This it's all saints. is a cropped. I would say Y two K. Um, hundred percent leather all saints jacket, and we always pick up all saints jacket. Seven pounds for the all saints uh, listed for eighty. Three pound fifty for the cardigan for Disignal, and I will list for fifty. That was cheddar. This is Wells. We are, we teleport. Did you know? I, I just quickly wanted to say as well. It was talking about zip sale. For, I've seen a lot of people recently posting about zip sale and, and you know use your code and blah blah blah, which is cool. Like, listen, if you can get a free month, I don't care if it's from us, I don't care if it's from someone else. Just try it. I promise you, it's worthwhile. What I will say is, I, I'm not, not not hating on anyone. I'm not 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 kind of you know trying to cause any beef. We've used zip sale for years now. And successfully, it's just done us really, really well. And to be honest, there are a lot of platforms we wouldn't even think about using if it wasn't for that. There are people who have just started using it and they're like, use ZipSale, right? What I'm saying is, use it. Like, whether you're new, whether you're old, it needs to it needs to be tried. Because, we'll ride or die. Yeah, I, I, ju I just think it's one of those things that we've said before and I'll say it again. If I don't believe in a product, I think you guys should know by now. I'll tell you straight. I don't care because i got nothing to lose. Like, if I think it's not great. It's not great. Like, I'll, I'll tell you guys. This is a Jill Sander for Uniqlo. I like picking up Jill Sander for Uniqlo. Um, this is just a plain white shirt. You can't really say no for three pounds. It will do your 25 to 30. This is and nice. And this is Kim. Now, I call this um, art teacher on their holidays. I'm vibing. That's not a diss. Art teachers are the bomb. Um, all I wanted to be ever was an art teacher. So big up art teachers um but i love selling oversized kin i love wearing oversized kin if anyone gets any kin dresses in black in extra large i'm your customer but bethany there's quite a few colors actually she likes black uh there's black and um do you know what? one of her favorites at the moment is black I with wore, black i wore two pink dresses last week and i felt oh, <laughs> all right i'll shut I up i felt a little bit vomit induced like just, no you know, and these are cool. Talk to me about these. These are Ariat polos. Um, we saw the gold black, uh, gold and black recently. Ariat is an equestrian brand. Um, I believe it's American, but I'll probably get told. It otherwise. sounds like Ariat. Um, they make riding boots. Those are the best. Um, they make clothing. They make jackets. They make. Uh, other stuff I, I would have picked stuff. those up all day long if they were cheaper they go they go really well probably about 35 to 40 depending on condition those polos would have gone um they're 15 pounds just too much for us and what we do um and it's not even that like there is still profit to be made but you have to understand I just said that there was no i'm just saying that you have to understand it's not our main gig so um anything like that we like to pick up cheap and sell for, for its market worth yeah fair enough get it get it anyway this is a hush dress um once again 12 pound um i still picking up hush i am still selling hush i am still on the hush hush, brown hush does well for us it does vintage but, but, yeah i was just gonna say but would you put vin would, this is a, a mosh a moschino uh cheap and chic uh, it was 28 pound i want to say 27 yeah. pound um just quickly going back to hush though some people say it doesn't sell fine fair enough vinted Use zip sale. Just put it on. Oh, no, I'm saying seriously. Honestly, would you do? Would you do? Would you do it though? Would you do on vintage? Otherwise, you probably wouldn't spend wouldn't time doing this. Things. That's what I'm saying. Because I, not because it doesn't make me money. It makes me loads of money. But because I, I don't. How do you know that though? You I'm, didn't do this to vintage before. I manually listen to Poshmark, and honestly, my brain capacity is at maximum yeah. like usage. Yeah. Poor Vessier is just not getting eye in the moment. <laughs> um, we also picked up. We didn't pick it up. Austin picked it up to show me his toast. I love picking up denim from toast. A lot of people ask us what toasty toast is when I say toasty toast. Um, fast selling toast. Um, and denim it hits that bracket of fast selling toast but it has to be certain items the more utility-esque the more chore wear the more uh, practical and then i also say the more boho so like the cottons the linens um like the shirt dresses you know the one like tea dresses sort of thing i do it, the things with that are floral i find go the, the least i think because most I, I would go on record and say that if you if you said to me like there had to be a, di a dictionary an image for a dictionary um kind of meaning for toast as regards the brand yeah. it wouldn't have a floral pattern in sight it would be like you just said workwear it would be the one yeah. color it would be one tone it would be very neutral 
Um, you know velvets, what I mean? the toast velvet stuff. I haven't seen that in years. That sounds really. Do you remember well. like the long, like it was like almost, it was like a dressing gown vibe in, 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 like, in like in like in like a burnt orange. I said it wasn't. It was golden yellow. Yeah, was it? it was yeah, fl- it was more burnt orange. Yeah, it, no, it was a. Fl- it haunts my dreams. All right. It was a floor length velvet kimono that had a tie waist, um, and it was golden yellow and it was in that outlet for a hundred pound reduced from 300 pound and guess who didn't buy it yeah that would be me and now they're selling on ebay for 300 quid and i wouldn't have sold it on ebay i would have kept it and loved it anyway this is jigsaw now i'm if i'm not wrong this was six pounds that's the jigsaw that sells up the who the one with the wrap shoulder yep um and i also found some Stuart wiseman oh god this is going fast Stuart wiseman sandals you see them again in a minute don't worry 10 pounds yeah they are I've been selling Stuart Wiseman really well. You want new label Stuart Wiseman, not Stuart Wiseman and Russell and Bromley. Stuart, <coughs> um, Stuart Wiseman. Um, it is uh, terribly underpriced on eBay, but I just sold the ugliest pair of shoes I've ever seen in my life for £100. If you bought them, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. No, they're not. They're not ugly at all, but I've had them for a while and they're just they're not very contemporary, if that well, makes sense. Once again, it's like anything. When people say, you know, I, I can't sell these Nike, whatever they are, for like 20 quid, but then something from Nike goes for like six grand, right? It's, I know that's an extreme example because maybe the six grand thing is uber rare. What I'm saying is though, Stuart Wiseman, as regards like, like those, for example, they are high, high end. They have a shop in Bista Village. Some boots, even even like outlet retail, like so it's so it's kind of a discounted value. They're like eight, seven, six, eight hundred pounds. Honestly, there's massive money in Stuart Wiseman. Don't get it twisted with Russell Bromley and don't get it twisted on the vintage, more actually, older pieces. Um, I actually sold the Stuart Wiseman. Wasn't Kim K, K part of the like the latest the promo? One, yeah. yeah, which that's some serious money, guys. It's seriously. Con- the over too. the knee boots do the best. These are, um, but we pay ten pound for those shoes, by the way, and I would expect about hundred to hundred and ten back for them. Um, and what else did I pick up in that last shop that I showed the camera? And I was like, look at this. Look at uh, they're a jigsaw. Oh yeah, the jigsaw. I think they go for about fifty to sixty. So these are weird dog. They're not weird at all. They're Doc Martin boots. Sneakers. And they're called the Kamar. Kamar. Um, anyway, they're sneakers. The, sneakers. the the sole is actually like kind of uh, basically the, the OG Doctor Martin sole from the boots, but oh, it's yeah. in kind of a, a white um, rubber polyurethane rubber, I guess. Um, <laughs> Poly- polyurethane. Oh, isn't there a difference between that and rubber in there? Well, you I don't do know. That. Uh, sea salt trousers. You don't know. So what, are, hush up, child. These are some larger size sea salt trousers. When I say larger size, they're just bigger than a size 8. Um, <laughs> size 14, 16, I think. I can't remember. But I pay £7 and they go for about 30 Talk about this one. This is Peruvian Connection Old Label. Um, it does need some TLC, and the I'm tea? not talking about waterfalls. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, hey, I'm, I'm no talking scrub. about in these uh, D bobble. If you haven't got a D bobbler in your arsenal, then you need to rethink your whole existence on the earth. Like the, even the word de bobbler. Like de-bobbler. just to be able to say I own a de bobbler. That's yeah. worth. That's worth. That's worth the price of admission. It's a hundred percent alpaca. Anything a hundred percent alpaca is coming home from with me. Even if it needs a de bobble, should be able to get because it's just a plain one. We should be able to get fifty to six. Pounds. Also, I don't say things for winter, so that'll be going straight up onto eBay. We are currently away off the grid. Um, we will be trying to bring you videos from the beach. We're um, we're literally looking at the water right now. Um, so we're not anyway exciting. We're in West Wales, so we're not in Greece or anything. Um, however, um, it's still very nice. Um, and we'll still be bringing you videos. Okay. It's fine. Um, I also uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> 